Hey folks, look at this mess. <laughs> we are... I forgot if I made a video about this already, but uh, essentially what I'm doing is I'm making the sleeper build a much better computer. I forget if I made a video before where I had the this H97 based Haswell system in here, because it was in here at one point before I decided to use it as a Linux computer when my APU build failed. Um, I forget if I did, but if I, if I didn't, um, I had this H97M anniversary ASRock board in the sleeper at one point. Um, and it's going back in there now. Essentially what this is going to be is a pretty nicely loaded sleeper. Uh, we have the Core i5-4460T, which is a 35 watt chip, so won't push the power supply at all. Uh, we have 32 gigs of RAM, which is overkill for a sleeper build, but the RAM is there, so there's no point in getting rid of it. Um, we have a, what is this, looks like a 128 gig SSD, and a hard drive here, one terabyte hard drive, so this is going to be a nice setup. So just in case some of you aren't familiar with the, these H97 boards, they're some of the best Haswell boards you can get your hands on. Um, they were built for the Pentium Anniversary Edition, funny enough, but they make great boards for everything else too. Uh, six SATA ports, uh, nothing but PCI Express for your I.O. Uh, pretty decent set of I.O. on the back. You get most of the video outputs as part from display port that you need. Some USB 2, some USB 3, Elna audio, and uh, these ASRock boards have a very good DAC on them too, so definitely recommended. Real PS2. I have the Dynatron cooler. I think this is a K17 Dynatron cooler. These are excellent. I definitely recommend these. Um, they're a little bit easier to deal with than something like the Hyper 212 Plus, that is for sure. So these Dynatron coolers are awesome. And we're going to stick that in the sleeper build here, which of course has the uh, uh, which has this DVD burner here, which happens to be a white SATA one. You don't see those very often. It's made by TIAC, of all companies. But I think TIAC con contracted, um, I think TIAC contracted Light On to make this drive. To be honest with you, but you know what? I'll 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 take it. Whatever. Um, and the video card we're going to be putting in here is an RX 460 that used to be in my main computer. This is a fantastic video card for use in Windows. Um, this guy can play Forza Horizon 3. Great. Which is why I'm putting it in here. This way it can be a spare gaming PC. If uh, friends come over and we want to play games or something, it'd be great for that. I can just make them a user account in Windows and bada bing bada boom, there you go. It'd be perfect for that. So That's what this thing's going to be. So I'm going to put all this together and I'm going to show you the finished product. All right, and we have the system together, all packed neatly in this box. I think I forgot to mention before, that's a 350 watt Antec uh, basic power supply, which has served me well for a couple years now. So it won't get pushed hard by this. We have the graphics card, which uses maybe about 75 watts off of the slot, 35 watt Core i5 chip, hard drive, SSD, optical drive. It's not going to push this thing too hard, which will be nice. Um, I probably could have used the 35 watt chip in the uh, Prime Systems PC over there, but honestly, I think it fits better in this PC because of this cooler, uh, and because it has 32 gigs of RAM, it actually does really well as a sleeper build. So it doesn't even look powerful, but it is, which is kind of nice. But it's not quite as powerful as uh, my, neither my main computer or my bedroom computer. So it fits in nicely with the rest of my systems. There, there are some, there's some stuff I think I might sell or something like that, but um, what I have now here is pretty great. This is one of the best DDR3 based systems I have, so I am going to call this one good. Uh, essentially, what I'm going to do with this uh, is run, is install Windows 10 on it because there's a license attached to the board already. I'm going to use that. Um, Actually, I don't know if it's attached to the board. It might not be. Either way, I'll stick a Windows, a copy of Windows on here. I'll install probably Windows 10 or Windows 8.1, one of those two, and I'll stick games on the hard drive, and it will exist as just your ordinary Windows PC. 
uh, with 32 gigs of RAM, which will be useful to have around. Like if I need to do conversion projects and get things done quick, having three powerful computers to do that with is very beneficial. <laughs> very, very beneficial. So that is pretty fantastic. So I might put a video in there of this running, but I just wanted to update you guys on what I've done with this machine. So uh, if you've seen a machine running Windows, you've seen them all. And that's essentially what this thing's going to do. So might as well button this guy back up. Make it look like the innocent little sleeper that it is. Look at that. Look at that. You wouldn't expect a system like this to have 32 gigs of RAM and a quad core in it, would you? I, sure, I certainly wouldn't. Yeah, there you have it. Just one last look at the guy there. There you have it. That's a little update on the sleeper build. Nothing huge, but I just thought I'd make note of it as a bit of a journal vlog type of thing. So, Hopefully somebody, somebody out there enjoyed it. Anyhow, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.